Hello my awesome friends! Do you want to find Amazon to eBay dropshippers and snipe their best, best items? So, this video is for you. Let's jump into my screen and let's look right now for sellers that are dropshipping from Amazon to eBay. So just a quick heads up. Well, actually, more like a spoiler. What I'll do is I'll go to the settings in Zik Analytics, I'll apply Amazon as a supplier, and then I'll start looking for a product on Amazon. And then I'll copy the title of the product, I'll paste in Zik's product research tool, and then I'll click, there's like this little filter where you can click dropshippers only, pretty cool actually. And then you see the dropshippers that are selling the product. And then you scan the sellers, find their top selling items, snipe them, and after that, you just have to optimize their titles, improve the item specifics, and list them to your store. It's that easy. Now, computer time. Awesome, my friends. So let's go, let's start this. I uh, hope you have uh, 15 or 16 minutes to spare, because I think that's how long it's gonna take. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to find sellers from Amazon and snipe their product, okay guys? So first thing, we need to do go to the quick settings and then we change shipping location United States okay and then we go source website and then we'll click Amazon okay and then break even you can leave it 20 I like to leave it 20 and then Zeek updates everything the setting and then we go to product research and then we can see shipping location, United States, eBay website, eBay.com. Uh, and then you choose, yeah, the last seven days is good. Okay, I go to Amazon. Yeah, and then you can just have an idea of an item. Let's say tattoo stickers, for example. And then you type tattoo stickers. And then you look here, let's see. Okay, then you click here. Let's see, 30 sheets. And then you can, you can copy the title. And then you go to Zeek, and then you place the title in product research, and then you click search. Yeah, and then it's too broad, maybe, yeah. Then I can erase, make more specific, and then you search. We can see that we have a few sellers, right, selling this. And then you see the box, Amazon check, okay, and they're drop shipping. You can see the drop shipping icon, and then we'll click here to scan the seller. Cool, 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 scan the seller. And then you can just uh, open new tabs, um, you know, scan the seller, open new tabs, and then we will take a look on them. Cool, so then we see the tabs here, we see the sellers. Remember, it's last seven days, okay? And then we see, yeah, he has 1,300, almost 400 uh, listings, successful listing eight. Let me see. So uh, look, two sales in the last seven days of this item. That's good. Yeah, but hosting, how is it? That's like a brand name. So we can also see here that, you know, there's 31 competitors for this product. So we scan the title. And then when you scan the title, it brings you more sellers, okay? So let's see here, let's check them out. Yeah, we can scan this seller. We can scan this seller. I'll just open new tabs. So. This seller has 151 active listings. Okay, he sold 11. So yeah, out of these 11 listings, he sold 31. Well, it's not bad, I mean, $700 this last seven days. Let's check out his products. So we can just take his best performing products here. And then we can also improve like the title, you know, tweak the title a little bit. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at this other seller. The seller has 6,000 active listings. So as you can see, he sold 1%, which is 62 um, listings. Mm, let's see, what is this? Uh, Modern Mall, okay. Then we click here, let's try this product. We click in Amazon, and then we try to find this product here in Amazon. Okay, so he's selling on eBay for $23.99. Okay, so let's see. Let's scroll down on Amazon. Yeah, guys, I'm doing everything live here with you, okay? No cuts or anything. Just, uh, it, it's, it, you know, it's how it takes time. But I, I don't think it's going to take more than 12, 13 minutes. Just 
hang with me. I'm still looking here. Yeah, we can find some, some items and then we just tweak the titles. So let's go like, to the other product here. The dishwasher safe pen. And then we we'll click on Amazon. Let's check them out. And then let's open eBay. Yeah, so this is the one. It costs 22 and it's selling on eBay for $34.99. Let's make some calculations here. Let's open the calculator. So $34.85 minus 20, that's uh, 67, and it costs $22. Yeah, I mean, we could, yes, we could make a profit with this product, but let's just uh, keep looking. Yeah, now let's look for similar items as well. Okay, now, you know what, let's go to another seller. Let's open it's this seller. Okay, it has uh, 6,390 uh, listings, 84 successful listings. Let's look his uh, top selling items. You can see the like, women's um, quarter socks, you know toothbrush and everything let's see <clears throat> yeah let's click here on amazon let's see this product on amazon okay so on ebay this is the, the listing it's always good to you know to look at the listing okay let's see another product that this seller has it's from amazon let's open with one click we see it yeah, so you see the profit you can make. It's four five five twenty four of this product, and then we go to the next seller. So basically, that's it. You know, we we, we were looking at the sellers. We're getting their top selling items. We're checking uh, on Amazon the products. Okay, and then uh, let's check this one. Okay, you can see it's two nine nine profit. And we can see that this seller is only listing bulk because you can see like the title is the same as on eBay. Okay, so he's selling on eBay with the same title as an Amazon. So you can see that he didn't even change the title. You know, he didn't even like tweak the title. Yeah, I mean, he could have changed the title a little bit. You know, sometimes, I mean, most of the times that works uh, better, you know. But that's it, guys. I mean, you have to put effort, you know, you have to put the effort, just tweak a little bit the title, you know, you see the item specifics, for example, it's not very um, completed. I mean, this is a good example. Sometimes you just, you know, just take a few minutes and then you can prove your listings and eventually, consequently, you will sell more, you know, look, it's the same. It didn't change anything, anything. Okay, look, it is working. As you can see in the in seven last days, he sold five times. But what I'm saying is that if he tweaks the title, if he improves, take some time, he could be selling more. You know what I mean? If he's selling five the last seven days, he could have like be selling 10. He could be selling 10, 11 items in the last seven days. So let's see this item here, this other item, the amplifier, please. So as you can see that this seller is making money without putting the effort of, of changing and tweaking the titles and everything. So this is really cool. Let's look at another seller. Okay, this is a dropshipper from Thailand. It's cool. I love Thailand, by the way. Beautiful country. Beautiful country, nice people. Okay, let's just uh, go down here. Yeah, I mean, the last seven days haven't sold very much, so I'm just gonna close the seller. Uh, let's open this new seller. So nine pieces and then we'll click here. Let's see on Amazon. Okay, let's look. So let's compare here. Is it the same item? I mean, here's selling nine, we're selling 13. But we can take this product with 13 and then, you know, it's costing $11. And then we have, okay, we have this one, with nine products selling for 999. So what you can do is, you can list here, this one, this nine, and then you make another variation for the 13, okay? So it can cost uh, an extra dollar, yeah, but then you can sell for 22, 24, you know? So it, this is interesting. You get the same item plus a variation. I mean, as you can see here, I'm taking my time to look. Yeah, and it's, uh, let me see here, let's look here. Then we can just copy the part of the title. Let's look, let's be more specific on Amazon and then click 
search and then let's see let's go down let's scroll down let's look let's see let's go to the second page yeah let's scroll down let's scroll down let's scroll down the motivational posters okay so here we have 12 and it's selling for seven look oh this is good and then you can sell on the same price and then you make huge profit huge profit okay that's interesting so this was the example of finding amazon sellers from zeke okay just a recap so i went to amazon i searched for an item the tattoo stickers and then i saw this listing i got the title i posted the title of the product research of zeke analytics i cut the title a bit to and then i searched they use the same title i also put the filter of drop shippers only I placed my uh, supplier as Amazon. Yeah, and then you know, with a click, you you find the same product, similar products in Amazon. And then I start to scan like the sellers. I open in new tabs. Yeah, and then I found like uh, like this seller found this product. I click this scan title, and then it shows everyone who's selling this product. And then I clicked here and drop shippers only. And that's it, guys. That's how that's how you can make money drop shipping from Amazon to ebay using zeke analytics it's really really easy sorry if it took too long i was doing this live but this is how it goes um, now let's go back to the camera so i hope you have found what you looked for in this video and good luck with your journey and as salvador dali brilliantly puts it he says have no fear of perfection you will never reach it so Keep moving forward and see you next time.